ever, <clears throat> has anyone ever heard of Crohn's disease? Does anyone know of anyone living with this, this disease? You see some people shaking heads on both of those questions. Well, up until about three years ago, I didn't know what Crohn's disease was until a loved one was diagnosed with it. At that point, that instant in my life, it went from unknowing to personal. go by the numbers here, just to start you off. 1.4 million Americans, according to the uh, ccfa.org, that would be Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America, their website, 1.4 million Americans have a form of IBD, IBD, irritable bowel disease. 1.4 million, that's roughly the size of Dallas's population. Of that 1.4, 700,000 have Crohn's disease. And of that 700,000, 140 of them were under the age of 18. That's as of last year's figures. So what does this mean? This means Crohn's is the third most diagnosed disease behind heart disease and cancer, any form of cancer. What is Crohn's disease? What is it? Well, first of all, according to the CIDP USA, it's a mouthful, Crohn's is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease, what does that mean? That means the immune systems in the, in the body, what we usually know to fight off infection, to fight off bacteria, to fight off anything to protect the body. Well, the immune system thinks the body is itself the enemy, so it attacks the body. In this case, it, it affects the digestive, di digestive tract. The history of it, it was named in 1932 by the physicians who described it. But this disease has been around longer since 1932. It has been known to be genetic. It can't be caused by the sun, it can't be caused by smoking, it's genetic. There is research ongoing, of course, since it is genetic, it's DNA research. There is no cure for this. Unlike heart disease, unlike cancer, there is no cure. It's for life. Now, of course, about 10 years ago, a geneticist finally figured out what the DNA was. So hopefully pretty soon, within another 10 years, we'll finally have a cure for this. There is one type of medication, only one, that's effective in treating this disease. It comes in two different forms, pill form or IV form. Eventually, intestinal surgery will be required to remove parts, several feet sometimes, of the small intestine or large intestine. Diet. The only way to really keep Crohn's in remission not to cure it, but keep it in remission, is by either medication or with diet. Diet being staying away from any type of fiber. Anything high in fiber, cabbage, beans, celery, anything like that, stay away from it. It will create situations in the body where it actually hurts to go to the bathroom. Over time, as this body affects you, affects you, as this disease affects your own body, what happens in your intestines, it begins to fibrotize, basically harden. This would be about the size of the small intestine once it's inflamed, swelled, and nothing can pass through it. Eventually, surgery will be required to remove that. There are some pros and cons, of course, with any, with any disease. The cons for this particular one, medication, side effect. One type of medication that I did mention, it has a very long name, it's basically known as 6MP. <clears throat> it can cause your liver to fail. It will damage your liver, so as a result, 
patient who lives with Crohn's must have their blood drawn every three months. Surgery again is required. Pros, long, fulfilling life. We have no deformities, people. I could have Crohn's and you never know it. Famous people who live with Crohn's. There are very many, many people who are famous who live with Crohn's. David Gerard, starting quarterback, Jacksonville Jaguars. He's had Crohn's for five, over five years. Matter of fact, his rookie year, he was diagnosed with it. Mike McCready, lead guitarist, Pearl Jam, has Crohn's. Shannon Doherty, actress, became well known on a little infamous TV show called 90210. Some of the uh, <clears throat> older folks in the crowd would know this person. President Dwight David Eisenhower, Crohn's disease. Last but not least, the reason for the speech. Future Baseball Hall of Famer, my son, 15-year-old Jordan Holder. So we'll be 15 in, uh, in January. He was diagnosed October 2007. He's one of that statistic of under 18. Thank you very much.